eat heads. We're not E today. We are in the bus. We're in the bus. We're at the Pasadena DMV. And um, our goal today is to get this VIN certification and have the guy write off that it is an RV. As you can see, we did some modifications to make it look like an RV. More, not permanent modifications, but enough for them to say it's an RV. So, let's see how it happens. Let's see how it works. Wish me luck. Hey, how's it going? Uh, your bank's here for verification? Yeah. Right, if you can lift up about the weight much um, um, um Van Camper? Van Camper? Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much, man. Bam! So he just certified it as a Van Camper! Not a commercial bus. Van camper, it's officially a van camper. If you are doing a shuttle bus build or some kind of commercial vehicle build, be sure to make it look somewhat like this before you take it to the DMV because the registration, the insurance is going to be astronomically cheaper. So it is worth it to just even even just make it look as much like an RV as you can. At least pull the seats out. Do not bring it to the DMV with 16 passenger seats in it. That's all I'm saying. We just got our camper van registered in the state of California and got license plates and registration, all that, for $341, which is over $1,000 cheaper than what it was when I came in on Monday. And it was a, and they, they certified it as a 
commercial bus. So glad I went through all that bullshit to save that much money. I've had a rough week, but we got the bus. We got the bus and it's mine. And it's and we're riding clean. Smash that like button. Sorry no e-bikes today guys. Peace.